right, so Merry Christmas, everyone. I got this because the Ryobi sale. I got the $100 3 amp hour HP battery kit, and you get a free uh, tool up to a valued up to $129. So I got the OnePlus bandsaw. Now, for those of you who are new homeowners and want to get into a get into a tool brand, that decision's up to you. I support all brands: uh, Ryobi, Hilti, Makita, Tac Life, Dewalt, Milwaukee, and Rigid. This channel is uh, this channel turned into unboxing videos, test videos, and versus videos to see what you get when it comes to your purchase or the tool that you want to get. Now, once in a while, I will throw in actually working on something. I'm updating my house, and that's going to continue on during spring. But today, we are going to unbox this bad boy. And just to give you an example, I also got this Milwaukee brushless drill driver. It is not a hammer drill. We're going to unbox this in the future, uh, in an upcoming episode. And yes, uh, and it, I'll throw uh, versus videos in here and there. But I'm taking the deals right now that the... Uh, Black Friday slash Christmas sales that Home Depot was having. Now I checked out uh, Farm and Fleet. They really didn't have any uh, great deals going on. Uh, so yeah, Home Depot uh, so far for what I've seen, I have not seen lows. Home Depot so far, it has the best deals when it comes to these tools. So let's unbox this, uh, these two and see what see what we get. But before we do that, I just want to let you guys know if you guys ever see those phone cases from a, t uh, a Titso, I think it's called a Titso, and I'll put the link for uh, their website in the description below. I did a review on this, and these this is really a good case. Now, I abuse the crap out of my phone cases, and I barely, I have uh, a couple of fine scratches you know barely anything but this uh, I abuse these I don't treat these gently at all but the clear coat is actually a really hard finish so it, it's good and the, it actually does light up and it also lights up with music so it goes with the beat of the song so I just want to throw that out there I got the Ryobi one they make Makita, Bosch, uh, Milwaukee, DeWalt and different versions as well next one I want to get is I want to get the uh the tire inflator. They uh, took a picture of the tire inflator and printed it on there. So it's a good phone case. All right, so let's get to unboxing this. We are going to use my Ryobi knife. This knife is awesome, by the way. They make two versions of them. So, yep. There we go. There we go. All right, now, like I said in previous videos, uh, of course it comes with instructions and a warranty. Like I said in previous videos, the P118B charger, this is a fast charger. I talked to the, to the Milwaukee and Ryobi rep, the TTI rep, if you will. He said this is a fast charger. And so, yeah, so like uh, it's small, it's co uh, compact and much more portable than the original green chargers. But yeah, this is a fast charger. All right, so you get the charger. You get uh, the bag, which it's a pretty wide, a pretty wide bag. <coughs> the walls, uh, two, the bottom and the two sides are reinforced. The front and the top is not. Yeah, the, the front, back, and the top is not. But the, uh, the two long sides and the bottom is majorly reinforced. And of course it says Ryobi right there. So it's a good sized bag. Alright, so then you get one battery and two batteries. And then after that, the box is pretty much done. Alrighty, so the three amp hour HP batteries, one and two. Alright, so the three amp hour HP batteries are, are actually very special batteries. Now, I did a versus video between the, the four amp hour HP battery and the four amp hour black regular battery. Now, the four, uh, four amp hour HP battery lost. We're going to do an HP battery versus video. 
and see which one performs the best. And it's going to be a long video since we're going to use the 3, the 4, the 6, and the 9 in that video. And we're going to see which ones prevail. But these, the 3 amp hour batteries, for some reason, I do not know why, give the most power at once to the tool for when it needs it. So... So that's that. So we are going to put these on charge. I have plenty of batteries, so we don't need these for the bandsaw. We are going to use the 3 amp hour HP compact for the bandsaw. Alrighty, so here is the bandsaw. We This is model number P590, and this is... I believe it's a it's a brush tool. It does not say brushless on it. Uh, it is a two and a half inch cut capacity, so that means that this opening is two and a half inches. Uh, up to a hundred cuts per charge in one inch black metal pipe, which I just so happen to have, which is that's what we're going to test this out on. So this thing is cool. This thing is, is seriously awesome. It is. 500 SFPM uh, fits, fits most 32 and 7 3 inch blades. High, uh, it has a high hook for overhead storage option, adjustable blade tracking, integrated uh, pommel hand that delivers more comfort and increased visibility. Designed to cut wood, metal, and plastic, which PVC pipe, metal, and wood is perfect. Because PVC pipe, you know, if you use any other tool besides a PVC cutter, it's going to more than likely go on an angle. This will increase your odds of making a straight cut on PVC and wood. So we're going to test that. We are going to test that out. Sorry, I do not know what SFPMs mean. Uh, yeah, my bad. I, I, I know I'm a, some of you are going to say I'm, I'm an idiot, but I do not know what SFPM means. All right, so let's open this bad boy up. There we go. Don't need the knife anymore, so put it away because it's safe. And there, look at that. That thing is awesome. All right, for, of course, you get instructions. Just spacing, more spacing. And after that, the box is empty. This goes into the instruction bag. And there is the tool. There is the tool. This thing looks awesome. I'm gonna assume this has a this has blades. Oh, yeah, that, so that's not it in the box. There might be blades in the box. Which, yes, right here. We It comes with a single blade. Two blades. It comes with two blades. There is the hook. The overhead storage hook. You can put that on a... Uh, 4x4 four four or a 2x4. Two, uh, two Alright, so let's figure out how to change this together. Come to this. This brings this wheel in. Does, is there two of them or just one? There's just one. Wow, they seriously put that in there perfectly. Alright, so... That is a simple installation so far. There we go. And then that is properly installed. Then you put this back. All right, let's do a quick safety, a safe run. Seems to be going good. There is only one, there is no speed setting. It's a, just a variable trigger. Actually, there is, it's not a vari variable trigger. It's only on or off. 
We're very good. There is a locking button, so now you can't do it. So there we go. That is the unboxing and assembly of that. So let's grab some pipe and let's see how well it does. Alrighty, so to, I, to this time I have to do the opposite of uh, what I normally do, but that's all right because this is it's a bandsaw. There's not gonna be much friction like a recip saw. All right, so we are ready to go. We're gonna cut up a two by four. So ready, go. Let's do another one. We're gonna do three cuts in a row and we're gonna time it. So ready, go. Wow, that's cutting straight. Wow, that is cutting that straight. That is awesome. Seriously, that is cutting that straight. All right, let's, uh, unfortunately, we cannot go, because uh, you are restricted to two and a half inches, so we can't really go uh, more than that. But let's cut the pipe. Let's see what the pipe can do. All right, for this, so when you're not using it, make sure you have that in lock. All right, so remember, this is my exactly the opposite of what I'm used to because I am right-handed. To I'm cutting this way like I'm left-handed, but I, I want the camera view. All right, so let's do one cut. Let's see how it does. Then we'll do uh, multiple cuts in a row. All right, so ready, go. Oh, it stopped. Ready. Uh, we're going to continue. There we go. All right, now we're going to do three cuts in a row. All right, so let's see what the battery is. Battery's at 75%. All right, so ready? Go. There we go. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. All right, so we are we are going to do one more cut. We're going to do a couple more cuts actually. All right, so ready. Put it back on unlock. Yep, ready. Go. <laughs> One more. I gotta make sure my blade is straight. All right, so ready? Go. Yep, I gotta make sure my blade's straight. At least the camera fell that way, not the other way. But that's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. Let's do one more. Ready, go. Fantastic. All right, so this, this tool is seriously awesome. Now, I'm not sure if you could tell but in previous videos, uh, when I would cut metal or even wood, my entire uh, workbench would vibrate and stuff would fall down from the walls. This is a much smoother and quieter process to cut stuff. Compared to the size of, of a recip saw, you know, it's, it's a little bit heavier. 
It's a little bit heavier, you know, and it's it's much it's much easier to work with than a recip saw. This thing is seriously awesome. It is uh, right away did a good job when it comes to making this. Now, when it comes to this stopping cutting the pipe, that's my fault because if you cut uh, if you cut metal with metal and then you put it at an angle when it's cutting straight, no matter what, that's gonna stop. And so that's actually my fault for it stopping because I would move my hand and it wouldn't be a line anymore then the friction would just stop it from going but if you sense it stop if you uh, see it that it stopped stop the motor immediately because that's how you ruin the motor we are going to do further videos with this uh in the in the future to see what the power difference is between batteries and we're also going to do versus videos with this between hacksaws or reciprocating saws and other uh, ba uh, portable band saws. This thing's awesome. It really is. I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I, I have it now in my Ryobi arsenal and we're going to use this a lot along with everything else I got. So this has been the unboxing of the 3 amp hour HP battery kit and the uh, Ryobi One Plus bandsaw. That's pretty much it. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.